everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you what Pia got for her first birthday. We actually got given quite a lot of gifts and now I'm stressed as to where to store it all. Um, I'm going to start off with what me and Neil got her and then gradually go from like friends and families and stuff like that. First of all I'm going to show you clothes. Um, she's actually wearing a top now um, from Neil. Um, she got a three pack from Mothercare. He went out and surprised me with some bits that I didn't know about. Um, so in the three pack we had this one with like a little deer and a squirrel on, this pink one, and then the third one she's wearing now, but it's basically got this floral print over the front. So she got those in six to nine from Mother Care. And he got another two pack which was from H&M, again in size six to nine, so it came with this white one, which obviously goes with everything, we like our plain and simple things, and then this really pretty blue one, which I really like, it's got like a nice like ruffle detailing on the um, collar and then on the sleeves as well, and that two pack I think was £6.99. And I got her some pyjamas, I actually got her a set of baby girls in the next sale, so you would have seen these before, um, they're in size 6 to 9, and you've got the rocking horse, a rocking horse print and then just red and white striped and they were reduced from 17 to 8.50. Then picked her up a pair of pyjamas, um, she's actually worn these a couple times already um, but they are blue with sort of hearts, they're a little bit tacky but they are so cute, they're like flannel material. Um, I got these in size 6 to 12 months so they're a little bit long in the leg um, but these were only £3.50 so I love these and I want to get her another pair for Christmas. Then I just got her a pair of socks, again I've shown these in a haul, um, they're £2.50 in size 6 to 12 months, they've got loads of different colours polka dots on, I just thought they were quite cute. And finally another surprise present from Neil was this um, bobble hat with little tassels, um, I think this was from H&M about £5, I just think it's really cute and he did really well because it goes with all outfits. Then we got her some books, so I actually got these um, back at Christmas time last year I had to bump up my order so I've just had them put away and um, they say they're £5.99 but I think I paid like £3.50 for them so this is the Peter Rabbit Little Library and you have colours, numbers, shapes and words um, so I think they're like board books so I got that another one is the Winnie the Pooh Pocket Library this comes with six books and it's got Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore, Kangaroo and Root and Owl I assume it's small little stories about them I'm not too sure because it hasn't been opened um, but again it says this was £5 I think I paid maybe like £2 to £3 for it so then we went to TK Maxx the other day and we found these two books um, these are really good I don't really know the brand or anything but it's like happy and sad and like opposite so you've got brave and shy and then the middle bit turns separately oh, to this bit so it's really good and like teaches them like the opposites so like for example this one is awake and asleep so I think it's really good really educational whether it's for her now like one to two I'm not too sure but we got that one and then we also got big and small and it's exactly the same concept these retail at 4 99 we got it for 2 99 sticking with books um, I picked up this nursery rhyme book you would have seen it in one of my vlogs um, this is just a really beautiful traditional nursery rhyme book which is something that she can read with me I won't ever give it to her on her own because I don't want her to draw in it rip the pages or anything like that I actually had this when I was a little girl um, and I managed to find this on eBay for £4 including delivery so it is second hand but it's lovely quality. Like I showed in my works book haul or baby book haul whatever I call the video um, we gifted her the large family book collection so she's got five books about the large family which are um, a herd of elephants or a family of elephants and they're just lovely stories and I can't wait to sit down and read them to her um, at bedtimes also got her this little shape sort of thing it's not a shape sort I don't know what it is you normally see these in like doctor's surgeries um, I got this from Wilco for £2 I was going to put it towards her stocking but I think she's going to really enjoy she's very much like into her like pincers so I think she's going to really enjoy like just moving a single one round um, so I got that for her and I think she's going to really enjoy that and then Neil got something that was quite sentimental and this is um, a memory tin so it's like a little mould that you do a hand and footprint in we had these when she or one when she was a newborn on a bauble but it went terribly wrong and it's just like a blob because she used to like clench her fist like tight hopefully she'll be able to do this well um but yeah this is from mother care then got her a xylophone this is from matalan we actually had a credit note for eight pounds so we only had to pay two pound for it because it was obviously ten pounds but it's wooden and it's like pastel colors and i really like it i think she's going to enjoy it maybe not right now but as she's getting a little bit older maybe after christmas or something um so yeah we got her that 
I want to start a tradition of getting Pete a soft toy for birthday and Christmas, or maybe just one. Um, as you know, we love Jelly Cats. She's got an entire shelf full, her bookcase is full. They're just lovely soft toys, and I've recently been calling P Monkey Bum. So it felt right to get her a little monkey. This is the Bashful Monkey in the size medium. Um, he's got a really long curly tail, which I think is really cute, and I just... I just love it, it's so cute. Um, and this was from John Lewis, this was £16.99 I think, which is quite expensive, um, but how could you say no to that? I got a present for P on behalf of Rue, because obviously she's her sister, and she got her a new phone. I don't know if you've seen, but we have um, a little flip phone for her with a mirror and four buttons, whereas this is more like an upgrade, she's got like an iPhone. And it's just really good, it's got like, oh. says the number and then So it's got stuff like that, and it's just a really good toy, she likes playing with it in the car, um, it's really soft, and yeah, this was, I think it was about £9 from Tesco's. And then finally, her main present from us was a ball pit, um, and some plastic coloured balls, I'll insert a clip so you can see what it looks like, um, but we got it from Tesco's, we got two sets of balls on offer for £8, and then the ball pit I think was around about 5 and we got it back in April when all the summer stuff started coming out, we just put it away. Um, so yeah, I think she's going to really like it. She's been sitting in it quite a lot because today's Sunday, her birthday was on Friday. Um, and yeah, she just seems to really like it. I know that when she gets older and she throws the balls out, it's going to drive me insane. But for the moment, she really likes it. Next up, I'm going to share with you what we got from my mum. We got this wooden shape sorter. I actually got this for her on her behalf and she just paid me the money back because I knew what we sort of wanted for her. Um, so we got her this, this is from Sainsbury's, I got this in the toy sale, and it's lovely, this is magnetic, um, and then you've got obviously six different wooden shapes that correspond with the colours, either on this side or on this side. She really likes the bars, um, and at the moment I take the lid off, or I put them in, take the lid off, and she likes taking them out. Um, so it's something, and I think it's going to be a well-loved toy. And she got some, um, what are they called, like stacking ring pole things this is from little tykes i got this from asda um i was going to get a fisher price one but it was so much more expensive to be fair it was more durable but for the amount of time she's going to play with it just get the cheaper one so that's what that looks like and that was 250 and i forgot to say the shape sorter was half price that so was three pounds fifty then i picked up some touchy feely osborne books osborne osborne i'm not too sure um these are great like little books whether she's going to be into it now i'm not too sure um because obviously she's just turned one i think it's going to be better if she gets a little bit older um within the year um so we got that's not my squirrel and that's not my fox these were actually half price in sainsbury's so if you've got a local sainsbury's definitely go and have a look because they've got all the christmas ones half price at the moment i think 6.99 for one of these is extortionate but when they're on offer definitely stock up that's what i'm going to do for her christmas so she's got those two but finally from my mum she actually put 10 pounds in a card from the cat sounds really weird but we do presents from cats because um, I didn't have brother or sister growing up, so we'd do it from the cat. Um, and she put £10 in the card for the cat, um, and I picked up the Fisher-Price um, piggy bank. So, like, you turn it on. Level one! And Let's you, have some fun! And you open it. Open closed! It's very loud. Um, and you basically put the coins in, it counts to ten, and then once you've reached ten, it, like, does this little jingle. Um, I think it's going to be really educational for her as she grows up and this was from B&M for 9 99 I got a present from my auntie and uncle that actually live in Hong Kong. Um, they did like an Amazon delivery. I answered the door and thought, oh my god, I've ordered something in my sleep. If you can hear P, she's crying with Neil. Um, I thought I ordered something in my sleep, but it actually turned out to be from them, which was lovely. It was a really nice surprise and I wasn't expecting it. Um, so we've got Farmer Duck, which is like a lovely board book, which I've never heard of before. And then Where's Spot, which I think she's going to love, and it's made me want to get more. It's very basic, but it's got flaps, and I just, I love this. This is such a lovely book. Um, and then The Hungry Caterpillar, which is obviously a classic. From one of my best friends, Ellie, she got her a personalised nursery rhyme book, um, but this one's got her name on it, and it's got her name throughout the illustrations, so when she's older and she recognises her name, she can sit there with me and find her name, so for example on this one, I don't know if you can see, but her name's down the side, I think it's a really lovely, like, 
gift that when she's older I'll be like you got that for your first birthday from Auntie Ellie sort of thing um, and it's got like a little personalised message in the front as well so that's from Ellie then from my best friend Catherine um, she got her a Kath Kidston dress it's sort of like she's starting a tradition that she gets a present from Kath from Kath if you know what I mean when she was a newborn she got a little dress and now obviously she's one she's got a dress she got this in size 12 to 18 months which is huge for her at the moment but this will be perfect for summer it's got a little pair of knickers inside as well if I can show you like that little knickers and I just think it's really cute I absolutely love the Peter what is it called a Peter Pan collar I don't know but I can just imagine like when she's starting to walk like trotting around in this I absolutely love it so that was from Catherine from Becky we got the Tommy eggs she asked what he needed for her birthday um, and I just sent her these on Argos and she ordered them in for me P loves these I would say so far this is her favorite present she absolutely loves taking like the the tops off of the eggs and then taking the eggs out. It's really educational if you think about it. So you have the colour on the shell, which matches obviously what's in there. And then at the bottom you have a shape which you match in the egg holder. And they also squeak. She absolutely loves these to pieces. So this is definitely one of her favourite presents. Some bits from Neil's family. Um, we got this on behalf of Neil's dad and then he paid us back for it, which is the VTech activity board. It's on some little legs. It's a lot shorter than I thought it would be, um, but it basically has a clock. It's got the um, keyboard. It's got some little things here. It's got a, like a twisty thing and then it's got a phone. I left the phone in the lounge and it's got a storybook. Um, she really likes pressing the buttons on this. It does make loads of noises, but I'm not going to turn it on. Um, so we got this from Argos in the sale. It was £22.50, which is not bad at all. You can also take the legs off and she can sit down and play with it as well. Because she's not strong on her legs at the moment, she uses it as like a tray. But when she's older and she's got her balance, she can obviously have it on the legs as well. And from one of Neil's brothers, he picked up the little tykes tiger thing this isn't really going to be used for a while until she started walking independently on her own then she can push this this isn't really sort of like a balanced thing because it's not sturdy enough but once she's on her feet she can obviously take this for walks and stuff but at the moment she likes sitting down with it like playing with it like ears it does where's the on switch don't know if you can see but it's got lights as well um, and then these light up as well red orange and green I think um, I think he said this was about £25. Um, Neil's other brother, um, he asked us what we wanted and we said that we'd like this and he just got it for us. And that's the Fisher Price tea set. It basically teaches like manners, colour association. It's also got um, a cake which you stack. I think the older one had a plate with three different like shaped cakes on it and you had to sort that. Whereas this is obviously stacking it according to size. Um, it's got noises. Level one. And I think... So obviously it sings and all of that sort of stuff. We haven't got it out yet, as you can tell, um, but hopefully she'll enjoy that. Finally, from Neil's mum, she picked up some clothes. Again, these are far too big. They're size 12 to 18 months, which, according to her, her age, should fit, but they just don't. She's still in six to nine, or she's just gone into six to nine. Um, so these are going to go away probably until autumn um but these are sort of like we would use these as bedtime baby grows i wouldn't it sounds horrible but i wouldn't let her go out in these in public um but she's got this nice little hedgehog one with like little mushrooms and it says walk in the woods and she's got this white one which has got little pink and white hedgehogs and bunnies so that's what they look like and they are from sainsbury's she also picked up a pack of leggings I was actually looking at myself in Sainsbury's again they're size um, 12 to 18 months so these are going to be perfect for autumn next year because of the colours so you've got mustard and white polka dots just with plain reds with little wooden buttons at the bottom and then you've got an Aztec pattern so they're quite pretty just with like a basic white top and a cardigan will go really nicely together and then she picked up two books now these are from Aldi because I've actually got some anyway um, so she's got Incy Wincy Spider, the first page is like textured and then the rest is just like the story or the nursery rhyme. So we've got that one. Then she got Hide and Seek Under the Sea and this one's textured, it's got like a rubber effect. You basically just find things in the book, so that's that.
And then finally from Neil's mum, again, she asked us what we'd like and we wanted a wooden walker. I did look at the VTEC plastic one, but I just didn't like it. I don't like plastic tat. I feel like what we've got is enough plastic. Um, so I wanted a really nice traditional wooden one. They did do it in pink, but in case we have another one and it's a boy, I wanted something that can be passed down. This is what it looks like. This is from the Early Learning Centre and I believe it was £25. Um, so it's cream, which I love, and then it's got like the little... It's got the little abacus thing at the top and then it's got individual blocks that you can take out. So you've got big ones, you've got um, like little ones and then you've also got some triangles in there as well. Um, I really like the wheels. The wheels have got like a rubber bit in the middle which makes it perfect because obviously we've got wooden floors throughout the house apart from in bedrooms. Um, so this is great. It's quite small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be but it's perfect size for her because obviously she's a diddy baby anyway. So I hope this video gave you a little bit of inspiration. I found that I watched a lot of like what my baby got for their first Christmas or first birthday quite a lot on the run up to her birthday because I just didn't know what one year olds use. Like what she uses might be different to what other one year olds do. Like she doesn't walk, she doesn't crawl, she doesn't really do a lot. Um, whereas I feel like a lot of this stuff is like transitional pieces that she'll probably use later on next year, sort of from the summer when she's that little bit older and that little bit more like aware of things. Um, but at least we've got it and we can pull it out as and when she's sort of developed and she needs it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!